Welcome to this video on computer hardware. In this video we are going to learn the parts of a PC uh, inside and out and we're going to work out how to put them together to build a computer that does the things that we want it to. So in class usually I would use a real computer and I get everyone to gather around the computer and we build it and take it apart and stuff but we can't do that at the moment. So we are going to use an application called PC Building Simulator which is available on Steam if you're interested. It's quite a fun little game actually. And in my PC Building Simulator I am going to go and get the parts I need from my shelf and then build a PC and get it working. So first thing we need is a case. We need a big enough case to do everything we need it to. It needs air in it to keep it cool. It needs fans and it needs all the parts of the computer. So a mid-sized case is what we're going to be using. Let's just have a look around that. First thing I do with my case is I take the sides off so I can get in it. So I undo these screws. And I take that off. I go around the back, do the same. Take these screws out here. Ignore the retail value because it's probably completely fictitious. Now, first thing I'm going to put in my case is a motherboard. The motherboard is the piece of the computer that joins everything together. It gives everything its power and it gives its ability to talk to other parts of the computer. So it connects everything up. It looks a lot like, um, some people said it looks like a little city where it's got lots of skyscrapers and buildings on it and roads. That's not a bad analogy actually. It's all connected together so things can travel around in the computer. So just putting these little pins in that stop the motherboard touching the side of the case. So there's air under it. If you look under here, you can just see it's not quite on the edge of the case. Now, just do the screws up. One, two, three. What have we got? Nine, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. If you do this in real life, you have to be very careful with static electricity, so you mustn't go and work on a computer without touching something metal or wearing a static guard because static electricity can fry the parts of the computer. Fortunately, I don't have that problem right now. Next thing I'm going to add is the CPU, the processor pick any old processor but we obviously want one that was fast enough to do what we want I'm gonna go for an R7 because I know I can play cool games on that open up the handle drop my CPU in making sure the pins fit and close the handle it's that simple okay let's just do something now before I forget we want a little blob of thermal paste now that little blob of thermal paste will stop it getting out, getting it too hot and that will help it cool down. So, creates a connection to the, the heatsink. While we're doing the cooling, let's put a CPU cooler on it. Oh, I like a red one, I think, please. Thank you very much. And we drop that in. Looks good. In it goes. So there's our CPU and there's the big cooler on it. It's got a metal heatsink and a fan to blow the air around. We're next up. We're going to add some memory. Being careful to undo the clips properly. And then we drop that in. That's eight. I'm going to put 16 in my computer, so I'm just going to do that again. Just have a nice, powerful computer for. I think I did the wrong one there. There we go. Okay, all good. Close that one again because I did the wrong one. Okay, how are we doing? Not bad. Right, next thing we want is some storage. So when the computer's turned off, it can save files. So while you're doing this project, make sure that you understand the difference between storage, hard drive space, and memory. Okay, that's really important. Just for a second, I just need to open the drive bay then I can install my hard drive when you're looking at hard drives have a look at the difference between a hard drive and a solid state 
disk drive. So that's an SD, SSD, and an HD. Okay, have a look at the difference between those. Right, we've got a hard drive, CPU, memory, motherboard. We need a graphics card. I want to be able to play games. So we need a good graphics card to play games. It has to be quite powerful. Uh, what should we go for? That'll do nicely. We'll go with one of those. Of course, it won't let me install it yet because I need to take out the... Goodness me. All these uh, cases are different. This is a bit of a weird one. Right, let's take these panels out the back. Now we can try and install our graphics card. There we go. Brilliant. And if I look around the back, excellent. I can see the back of the graphics card to plug everything into in a minute. That's good. Right, let's just put that piece back in that we just took out. Where is it? PCI cover, is that it? I think it might be. No, it's not. There it is, PCI lock. That's got to go back in. Gosh, it's a lot of screws. Right, get that in quick. Okay, we've got all our main components. Um, I might just quickly put some nice fans in the front of it because it's fun. Let's see what we've got. We've got a nice set of fans we can put in the front. Case fans. There we go. Preferably bright coloured. <laughs> RGB, there you go. Let's have some of these in, shall we? Oh, no. Maybe another time. If you want to put some fans in your case when you spec it out, if you've got time, it should run cool enough, as it is. Now then, we want to put in some power. We haven't got any power down there yet, so let's install a, C a PSU now, a power supply. And we need to make sure that it's going to give us enough wattage so we have to be careful when we're building this to, to get one that will be powerful enough to run everything we've put in the case uh, I'm gonna go with a 750 I'm gonna have a quick look in my case there we go in it goes screw it in place okay I don't think I've forgotten anything so now all I have to do is cable up my PC so I have to connect everything in the case either to the motherboard or to the power supply and you can see some of it connects to the power supply whoops missed try again <laughs> that's going to connect there that's the hard drive connected that's the fan connected to the motherboard that's the main power coming to the motherboard that's in that's a big cable -y thing Motherboard for the fans. Anything left? Nothing left inside our case. So our computer should turn on now. Have we got a power switch we can press? There it is. Let's try it. Now, why didn't it work? Very simple. I haven't plugged in yet, have I? So, power. USB. Keyboard. Mouse. Which are input devices. And then we've got an output device, we've got the screen as well. So we've got our screen, input and output devices all done. We've got power. We don't need to put the case together yet. Let's see if it powers on. Bingo. There, it's working. Good. Now, the next thing we need, just to finish, is we need some software on it. And we don't have any software on it. When you build a new computer, usually you stick the software these days on a USB stick and you boot the computer from this little USB stick so I'll stick that in and that's got all my software on it to start the computer up so now if I look hopefully my computer is going to start there we go look at that we've got a working computer fantastic and if we've got about a minute left which we have I'll just show you one more thing lovely let's go and install an application on our computer called will it run and I just want to see how powerful my computer is if it's good enough to play my favorite games just need to restart okay 
Okay, nearly there. Let's run, will it run? And let's have a look if we can play one of my favourite games. And one of my favourite games is Overwatch. Can I play Overwatch? Well, this is what I need. And this is what I have. So my computer is more than capable of playing Overwatch. So that's good, isn't it? And all these other games as well. Rocket League's another favourite of mine. That works as well. So when you're building a computer, make sure it can do the things you want it to. That determines how much money you have to spend and that will make sure that you end up with a brilliant computer that does what you want it to. Now your task is that you're going to have a budget of £750. You're going to have to decide what your computer is going to do and then you have to spec your computer using online shops to do what you want it to. Okay, There's a PowerPoint that you will have been sent and that is your assignment. Uh, I hope you have fun doing it and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Take care.